with Ernie Finch. Good afternoon, Ernie. Good afternoon. Good uh, afternoon, Sean. I have to start really by asking you what about this afternoon first, but only briefly and no bad language. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, the most improved player on the pitch has to be Scott Vernon, which was, of course, he was on loan at Colchester United. Uh, he's taken two goals well for Blackpool. Colchester haven't been very much in the game, not at the races at all. I can only think of one good piece of uh, play by Mark Gates' free kick that they have got to leave that to run for that side. Apart from that, it's not been very good at all in the first half. Well, the only shots you've had on goal have actually been set pieces, haven't they? That's right, indeed, they have indeed. It's uh, just been set pieces. And Blackpool have actually hit the post as well as pulling out a, a good save from Dean, Dean Gherkin as well. In that from where I was sitting, they looked rather easy goals, actually. But certainly the second was a mistake. Um, uh, Adam Virgo um, basically didn't pick up the fly from the ball and really I mean, it was a gift. Actually, so that second one was a gift. And there didn't seem to be many tackles going in for the uh, first one either, actually. <laughs> Let's, let's leave things be there. There's nothing that you or I can do about it. We are reflecting over many, many years here. And, now, and, now it is about time. and I suppose the obvious first question really, how long have you been coming up to Lira? Oh, it's um, ten years now. Uh, the first game was in December 1997 with my eldest daughter. Uh, she was uh, she would have been seven at that time. Um, we came up as part of the sort of package from the football community that was going to the school in Kelvinet. Um, so that game was against Chester City, I believe it was, and we won two Was that back in the league or was that close No, that was that was the um, the would have, would have been what it Division 3, I think they called it then, League 2 as it is now. So, um, and we were about 12 or 13 at that time. What are your favourite memories going to be up there, uh, uh, from those years, given the start next year? It'll be a housing estate. <laughs> memories was that first season I went to, and we had the playoff semi finals against the Barnes here. And we were, I think, 1 0 down, I think it was from the first leg, and it was just a dramatic. Uh, ending to, to, uh, to the game. It's, it's wonderful. And we just saw one of the players who played in the game, David Gregory, who's still here on the start of the box. And uh, he scored, I think, a couple of goals, of course, in the playoffs. Uh, we went to Wembley playing Torquay, and he scored a penalty in that game as well to win us. Um, but that, that night, I thought, was a particular one. And, of course, last season's Ipswich. Uh, one, one <laughs> I, was, I was here on the time, the last time we played Ipswich before that game, which was about 50 years ago, yes. <laughs> and it was great to get it through, wasn't it? Who's, your, who's the person or the player who you'll remember that graced Blair Road in your time? I can think of a number of them. Who would you be? Well, there is so many, but one that always speaks to mind is uh, young Lamar Duarte. He was just wonderful when he was here. Um, yeah, it was delight to watch, an absolute delight to watch. And, um, yeah, really watch. As well as the goals, it was a delight to watch the celebration. <laughs> <you've ever> <laughs> yeah, the celebration, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we could do with both today, couldn't yeah, we? We could yeah. do with back. <laughs> Where, whereas the you normally take a letter? I, I'm usually sitting at, at the, the clock end, um, so that's where I sit now. Uh, so that's where I usually go for many you're, you're years. Near enough to the goal to catch the ball if the shot yes. or get hit if you're not concentrating. <laughs> that's right. You have to concentrate when you're down that end. That's certainly <laughs> good. <laughs> you get a curtain now before the game, don't you? To stop stray shots when then when they practicing. Yes, it's much needed. So I don't know why, but it is. Um, I know it's past. That's where most of the injuries occur. If there are going to be injuries down there. And they're in white today. Aren't they? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> One the other end, but they'd be too close. <laughs> what are you going to miss most about Lair Road? I think it's going to be the sheer atmosphere. When this uh, ground, I hope, hopefully, will happen in the second half and we'll come back strong. When it's rocking, the atmosphere is just tremendous. So that's the unbelievable atmosphere of the crowd that we've seen in front of the crowd. And that's the biggest thing in Lair Road, the small ground, which is very close to the, to the spectators. Isn't it? That's right, of course it is. Uh, the, the opposing players in the past, all in good nature, being tickled by the young fans in the family enclosure, they take a throwing and all this sort of thing. Well, you can uh, pat them on the back, <laughs> <don't> you <laughs> think? <laughs> they disappear up the terraces as they get rather too keen going from straight ball to the end. This time next year we shall be playing in a new ground. Would you expect us to be in the Championship or are you one of the many who are starting to get rid of I, I hope we're in the Championship. Um, but I suppose the league table doesn't lie, and yes, I am slightly worried that we won't be there with back at League One playing. 
We've got a lot to play for in the second half, haven't we? We have. And, but sometimes that two-goal lead is a strange one. So let's hope um, Blackpool get the bobbles in the second half, defending a two-nil lead. Let's hope so. We will hope that. Thanks ever so much, Ernie. We'll okay. get, get our, both ourselves out of the cup. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye now.